On this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to fix a leaking refrigerator water coming out of your freezer. So stay tuned. Welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. You can see that the water is coming from that corner of my bottom freezer. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take out all the stuff that's in my freezer and put in a little tiny bin and I'm going to cap it off so that I can maintain it being cold for this time that I'm going to be repairing it. I'm taking out the door and all the bins depending on the model of your refrigerator. Um, each one is very different so take note. As you can see we've had this leak for a while now and we've been using this hand towel. Um, placing it on the bottom so that it can absorb the water and it freezes so that when we take it out it'll be a lot easier that was our temporary fix now i'm going to be scraping off um, everything with a wooden spatula this is actually the safest way to prevent any scratches from going onto the bottom because it is made out of plastic if you look right there there's the source of our leak the stream the little tiny stream is coming out from the bottom right corner of that panel now this panel is secured by four screws and a few panels over it so we're just going to unscrew that um, right quick and then we're going to take out this tiny paneling exhaust plate and then we're going to go and unplug this refrigerator so that we don't get shocked while working on this equipment. Alright so I'm going to be taking out this cover that's covering the temperature sensor and then we're going to pretty much pull out the panel exposing the evaporator coils now there's the evaporator coils right there right on the back and evaporator fan and if you look on the very bottom of this evaporator coil you see that there's ice buildup right on the bottom which is pretty much blocking that drain on that middle portion and you can see that there's a huge ice block on the top right now with your phillips head screwdriver just carefully pry out as much ice that you can be very careful not to damage the evaporator coils take it out nice and slow i'm going to be using my mccullough steamer i've been using this for car detailing and flooring and uh, this is a perfect tool that i'm going to be using i think this is the safest way to defrost the ice in here because i know a lot of people use hair dryers and heat guns but this is a plastic panel that you're working on and there's a possibility that you'll probably end up um warping or melting the plastic on the very bottom and you can use that but use caution and risk while if you do use that and it is electronic and um there's electricity on the hair blower and if it gets wet there's possibility you might get shocked this one you can get the the pretty much the steamer handle wet and you won't get shocked at all and it's the safest way in my opinion so now i'm going to be using the steamer as well to defrost that huge block of ice that accumulated on the top And then what we're going to do is we're going to clean up all this ice and extra water using a little tiny basin and a rag. And we're just going to scoop up everything that we can and dry this off. Now what I'm going to be doing is uh, pretty much pulling my refrigerator to, uh, forward so that I can get access to the back. Now there's this sheet metal cover that is screwed onto the back. Just pretty much take off all those screws. And this one I had about eight screws that I had to detach. But be very careful. I just cut myself doing this. It is very sharp. Make sure you cut, uh, cut resistant gloves if you need to. Just be very careful. If we look down deeper into this bottom portion, you can see that there's this plastic slide. This is pretty much where the water vents out and slides onto the drain pan. If, if you look at it, um, sometimes it's wet, but check if it's bone dry, then that's pretty much the main cause of your uh, blockage. But this one has a little bit of water. It's just pretty much getting clogged up because it's draining pretty slowly. And you can see that there's this compressor fan that pretty much dries up all that water to evaporate it. And that's what uh, pretty much dries up all that excess water in your drain pan. And you can see that there's this little nipple on the very top and it's slowly dripping now because we actually started using that steam and it loosened up all that ice block. What I'm going to be using, I'm going to be pretty much squeezing this and check the inside of this nozzle. And you can see that on the bottom, there's a few buildups in there with clogs. Uh, there's a clog of dirt and debris. So I'm just going to use my fingers and pretty much unclog that and take out all that dirt um, pretty much what's caused that is i believe from the fan blowing all that dust and dirt over time it accumulates on there so you want to keep that nice and clean so it doesn't get blockage and pretty much that's what's causing what that's what's causing all the ice blockage from the um the other side so make sure you keep that clean and clear 
and then we can have that water dripping back into this drain pan so that this compressor fan can dry it up. To show you how that works, I'll plug it in and you can see how that fan works and that's what pretty much evaporates all that excess water on that drain pan. Once that's done, just screw everything back on um, the panel carefully, just screw it back. And then we're going to continue to pretty much take out this huge block of ice. I'm going to continue steaming this and it should come off just like that. So that's another blockage that was probably causing something. I just wanted to take that out. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought that was, what's causing that blockage. Now you can see that the drainage on the bottom of that evaporator coil is nice and clear. Water can now freely flow right there. You see the dripping to in, uh, down that tube. Double check everything to make sure that there's no more ice. Dry it up real well. Then we're just going to reverse engineer everything and pretty much put back that panel. The exhaust cap right there and then put back all the shelving. And my son is helping me out and uh, he's, a, he's a really great help. So kudos to my son. All right, so let's put back all the essentials, especially my one and only Snicker bars. And then we're going to put back all of everything, including the door and all of the goodies before the wife comes home and finds out that her all her stuff has been defrosted. Um, so I got to do this in a hurry. All right, friends. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. I'll see you in the next video.